Back here on Amateur Sports TV, Mike's still here with Mike LePing, uh, aficionado when it comes to flag football in this province. Mike, uh, uh, for those that are unaware, um, uh, maybe explain a little bit about uh, the history of your coaching experience at the senior men's level and what you accomplished last season, obviously winning and, and becoming Team Canada winning nationals. Right. Well, uh, ultimately last year we were Team Manitoba, so with the help of Football Manitoba, we uh, put together a pretty pretty good team and uh, went off to nationals at Sas in Saskatoon last year and beat a very, very, very good Team Canada 16-13 uh, in the finals and God bless us, we're Team Canada this year, so it's pretty exciting. And for those that are aware, there were pretty big names on that Team Canada team, you know, Chris Getzlaff, Chris Bauman, guys that have been in the CFL and done big things, so yeah. that was a, a massive, I would say people would consider at the time an upset. You know. Oh, a massive upset, I think, yeah. So we're going to go into these tournaments coming up uh, with a target on our back, I know that, but uh, um, we're excited, we're real excited. So the Canadian Flag Football League is new this year. It's really exciting yeah. to have that opportunity to grow the game of flag football in Canada. Mm -hmm. and, and you guys are in an interesting position. You already won sort of the, the, the Pitt Football League, Canadian Flag Football League sort of um, uh, yeah. segment of that, but there's a lot more to go here. So right. so you still have the, uh, I mean, you're qualified automatically for, the, for, for these things, but you've got the regional tournament here in the city. Yeah. I believe it's May 18th to 20th. Correct. And then we've got uh, nationals after that, which again, as Team Canada from last year, you guys automatically qualify. Right. Uh, but what, what do you sort of working on? What areas of your game are you guys looking to hone in on and refine, uh, already knowing that you've kind of got this birth to, to the national stage? That's a great question. Ultimately, uh, we've got lofty goals, right? Um, at the end of the day, we all want to win nationals again this year, get the opportunity to represent our country and go to Worlds. Uh, but so this coming tournament, uh, May Long Weekend, it's uh, the first time Winnipeg has held the Western Regionals here. So we want to have a good showing there. Uh, we're really focused on just a lot of little things, right? Just little things to get us better. We want to flag constantly. Um, we're gonna, our defense is, is evolving and getting better week after week after week. And I think uh, we're gonna go into this tournament a tough team to beat. And you got a great eclectic roster, frankly. You've got some younger players, some buys and guys on that roster, yeah. and some experienced players such as John Franklin, the co-founder yeah. of the Pit. Maybe talk to us a little bit about just sort of the, the layout of your team and just yeah, the variety of ages and experience you've got on that on that roster. Right. Well, well, you mentioned John. Uh, he's definitely a veteran uh, in non-contact football in our country. Right. He's won at the national level before. Uh, so to have him as a quarterback for our team, he's a good leader. He knows the game real well. Um, so that's that's uh, uh, big for our team. But we've got some uh, some young guys, some young Bison players that uh, you know from the University of Manitoba that have been helping us out, and they're they're learning the game too because it's different than the contact that they're used to. Uh, it's exciting. Uh, it's well, our team. We look a little bit better than we did last year. I'm, I'm telling you what, I'm really excited. That's dangerous for other teams knowing Team Canada looks better than they did before. That's, yeah. Uh, other teams should be a little afraid of that. You know, there's I, no I, doubt about that. Well, we're going into this, uh, you know, trying to be as humble as possible. Mm. If you were involved in football event at any level in our country, if you aren't a little fearful, uh, definitely respectful of. Uh, football Saskatchewan, you might be a little imbecilic. So let's uh, let's keep let's keep our eye on the prize no, here. No doubt, yeah. Respect all across the board. <laughs> yes, Absolutely. sir. Yeah. Yes, for the, sir. For those that want to come on, maybe watch the regionals that are happening. Yeah. May Long. Uh, where could they do that, and, and how could they have that opportunity? Yeah, uh, May Long weekend. If you want to see exciting football, and you're not too familiar with the flag game, or you have kids that are in it now. The, the level of play is going to be second to none. Uh, like you mentioned earlier, we're going to be playing, there's going to be ex-CFLers mm -hmm. in, in, in this game. There's going to be upcoming CFLers mm -hmm. in this game. Uh, so it's going to be really exciting. It's at Garden City Soccer Complex. 
Uh, so we're we're gonna have a great tournament. There's teams from all across Western Canada, from BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and, and here in Manitoba. It's gonna be a fun time. Garden Sitter Soccer Complex. I think you guys should come out and see it. It's gonna be a great uh, May long. We've got provincial team stuff going on. We got flag football going on. Football's back, and you gotta love it. Yeah, thanks. you do. Thanks so much for your time. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, the pleasure's <laughs> always mine. All the best. We'll be back with more here on Amateur Sports TV.